Hello and welcome to another video from Midas Touch Toys, Games and Collectibles. And today we're looking at something that again is quite old and now becoming quite rare. We are looking at the 1978 release by World Distributors from their Terry Nation Dalek Annual Series. And this particular annual we are looking at today is from the 19, is, well, is, is the 1978 annual which was released in late 1977 uh, for the upcoming 1978 year. Now these annuals by World Distributors or whoever the manufacturers were, they had a tendency to release them towards the end of the year. So you'd be looking at September, October, November time, and they're always the annual for the following year. Um, and this one was no exception. Um, so it was released at the end of 77 for the upcoming 1978 year. And it's all based on the Daleks who first appeared in the Doctor Who in the 1963 serial, um, The Mutants. Okay, so this is the book in front of us, and it says Terry Nation's Dalek Annual 1978. And there you can see um, a load of images um, taken from uh, comic strips, which will appear in this annual. This is authorised edition as seen in BBC TV. Um, and that's it on the front cover. Let's just turn it over to the back. And what have we got on the back? So on the back, we've got the SBN number, which is 72350410. Uh, and it says Terry Nation's Dalek Annual 1978. And again, there's two images of Daleks. I don't know if they're being exterminated there or they're supposed to be talking. I'm not quite sure. I haven't figured that out. Um, but that's the two um, Daleks on the back. Let's just have a very quick look at the spline. And there you can see it's in pristine condition. Uh, so Terry Nation, Dalek Annual, 1978, World Distributors. Okay, that's the book from the outside. Let's open it up and have a look on the inside. Okay, so I've opened the annual, and this is the first page. So you've got an image of, the again, um, artwork images of Daleks, one being destroyed there, one being stuck in the mud, and one moving around. And it says, Terry Nation's Dalek Annual, 1978. And you've got contents. So the stories, you've got the castaway, the seeds of destruction, and assassination squad. Picture stories, you've got the Rogue Planet Part 1, Rogue Planet Part 2. Uh, features, the Enigma of the Missing Planet, the Enigma Factor, Davros, Genius or Madman, Would You Believe, Mental Jigsaw, The Judgment of Gozen, Sabotage, Dalek Computer Printout, The Amazing Planet Magnetron, you don't have a clue. anti dalek Force Aperture Tests. Where in the World, The Amazing Journey, Minefield, True or False, and Time Passes. And at the very bottom, you've got the copyright information, which is 1977, by Terry Nation, as seen in the BBC TV series Doctor Who. All rights reserved throughout the world, published in Great Britain by World Distribution Manchester Limited, uh, who's a member of the Pentos Group. And the address is there by arrangement of the British Broadcasting Company, printed in Italy, SBN number 72350 And on the bottom right hand corner, you can just see the original purchase price of this book from 1977, which is £1.35. Okay, what can you get for £1.35 nowadays? Not a lot, I'm sorry to say. Okay, so the very first story. Um, it's called The Castaway, and it is a full um, story uh, with colour illustrations. Very good illustrations as well, I must add. I mean, back in the 70s when they'd done all these annuals, the, the artwork was just very, very good. It's absolutely incredible. And even though it's not strong artwork, must say strong coloured artwork, it's just, the images are just absolutely amazing. Really, really good artwork images these are. Um, incidentally, uh, obviously this is um, a Dalek annual, so it will not feature the Doctor, Doctor Who at all. Um, and then we come to the first feature, which is the Enigma of the Missing Planet. Um, and it tells you all about the planet that actually went missing. Um, and there's all the, the planets, the size and the distance from the sun. And there's the Missing Planet, which would have been there. Okay, and then you've got the Enigma Factor and all the battle lines. 
um, yeah, Launch Zone and Dalek Battle area. And there you've got Davros, genius or a madman. Personally, I think he's a complete and utter madman. But that's my opinion. Great character, though. Uh, would you believe? And that's all with believable facts. Mental jigsaw, so you have to try and put those into uh, a mental order. Um, so obviously, F goes to the bottom of A. So, yeah, C. Hmm. C. I don't know. Can't think about that for a second. Okay, the Judgment of Gorzan. Um, sabotage, a game which is a a um, quiz for you to do. Dialect computer printout, and you've got to work out what that code actually means. Um, and then you've got the Amazing Planet uh, Magnetron, and then the Seeds of Destruction, which is the second full story. Um, and this is this particular one is with monocolor illustrations, not as good as the color illustrations, but they're still nice illustrations. I'm having to hold these pages quite tight because this book is almost new. It's it's in near mint condition, and the, where it hasn't been opened before, the the pages will spring closed if I let them go. So that's the reason why I'm holding them. Um, and then we come to the first comic strip, which is the Daleks in the Rogue Planet. Um, and again, it is a, um, an original comic strip story which was wrote specifically for this particular annual and features the Daleks. And then we've got um, a crossword, which has been very lightly completed in pencil, um, but can easily be rubbed out. It's only in pencil, so uh, quite straightforward that. Uh, Anti-Dalek Force Aptitude Tests. And you've got six tests there to complete. Where in the world, um, which you've got to find out where everything is. Uh, the Amazing Journey, which is a maze, which hasn't been done, and you can work your way through that maze. And then on to the next um, uh, comic strip story, which is part two of the first one. It's Road Planet Part Two, and it's just called Collision Course. And again, it's the second part of, I say, the second part of that first story, and it is a unique um, story for this particular annual. Um, and it's colour um, comic strip. And then we've got Minefield, uh, where you've got to work your way out uh, through the mines. Um, there's Patrol of Daleks there, so you've got to find the one that leads not to a Dalek, I suppose. I'm guessing. Don't know. Um, true or false questions. Um, some of those, they have been um, done in pencil again, but as I say, they could easily be rubbed out. Assassination Squad, which is another story. The last Dalek story, I think. And again, it's a full original story with monocolour illustrations. And again, the illustrations are just fabulous. Um, look at those Daleks. They just look absolutely incredible. Um, so... Yep, and then we come over to all the answers to all the questions and the quizzes that they've had um, throughout the book. Um, and then that brings us to the back pages. So you've got Time Passes, Smokescreen, Duck, Simple, Hoopla. This is a further selection of tricks and puzzles devised by ADF members to help fill the te tedious hours of inactivity when an extended, on an extended space flight. There we go. Uh, so that brings us to the end. It's 63 pages, you can see at the bottom there. And we've just very quickly whizzed through them um, to, uh, to have a brief idea of what is in this annual. Okay, how well did the annuals do back in 1977 or 78? Well, they've done exceptionally well. Back then, as I said to you before, there was no DVDs, videos or anything like that. Um, in order for us to enjoy our television program when it wasn't being aired, um, things like annuals, activity books, colouring books, um, toys, games, those kind of things were all made available for us to keep your favourite television programmes or characters at the forefront of your mind. Um, so when the series did come back, you were still yeah, yeah wanting to, to see it. So... Um, the annuals was our basically like our videos back in the day. 
um, when we wanted to watch something um, that, of our favourite television programme. Obviously, we couldn't just go and turn it on and stream it or anything like that back then. Um, all we had was the annuals. So we go and pick up an annual and we read through the annual, read the stories um, and the activities and so on. So very, very big thing back in the, uh, um, well, 50s, 60s, 70s and yeah, to some extent to the 80s, um, I'm not, annuals are still being produced nowadays, but they're nowhere near into the volume and quantities that they were being produced um, uh, from the 50s to the 80s. Um, uh, it was a staple diet for every child to wake up on Christmas morning and find a couple of annuals, one or, or two or three or four annuals in their Christmas sacks or stockings. Um, it was you expected every morning, every Christmas morning to find an annual of some sort of your favourite television programme uh, in your Christmas sack um, on Christmas morning. And that was the whole idea behind the annuals being um, released in September, October, November time. So they were there for the Christmas uh, buying. And also hence the reason why they were for the next year, not for this year. Um, okay, so that's how, we, yep, so multiple, multiple um, mass-produced annuals obviously sold I don't know how many hundreds of thousands maybe millions I don't I don't know the quantities uh, but they sold very very well of course now what are we looking at we're looking at 46 years on yeah 46 years since this one or 40 47 years really since this one was released um, how often do they come up these days? Well, they do still come up from time to time. You do see them pop up on the um, platforms um, in, in various different conditions. Uh, some of them are in very good condition, some of them are in very poor condition. Um, and you just need to be very vigilant when you're buying on the platforms um, to really have a good look at the item that you're buying. So check the images out of the particular item, not the stock images that may be shown on the homepage. So have a good look um, because obviously you want to be sure that what you're, you think you're buying is going to be what you receive. Because some people's interpretation are very good, might be somebody else's interpretation of just being in acceptable condition. So just be vigilant if you do intend to buy um, on the platforms. However, alternatively, we at Midas Touch have managed to find quite a large quantity of these Dalek annuals. And they are currently available to purchase on the Midas Touch website. And you can see from the condition of this one, they're all in fabulous condition. Uh, and we do um, give a full description of what the actual condition of the annual is like. Uh, so if there's any doubt, read the description and you will, you will know exactly what you're getting from us. Um, well, these annuals are, are available to buy on the Midas Touch website, which you can get to quite simply by clicking the link below. And it will take you straight to the website where you'll be able to find this and many other vintage Dalek annuals and many other vintage toys, games and collectibles come to that. There's over 10,000 products currently available on the website for you to view and purchase at your leisure. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website. There will be something for everybody. And I am absolutely positive that this is something you won't want to miss because we literally have thousands and thousands of new products which we're shooting videos for and uploading on a daily basis. So if there's something in particular you're looking for, something old that you've never been able to find, something quirky you might want to buy for a friend, or perhaps just something from your childhood that you'd like to own again to help you recuperate those long lost childhood memories. Well, stay tuned, keep watching, because you never know the next item we upload could be that item you've been looking for. Okay, that is it for me on this particular item. I do hope you've enjoyed this very short video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again next time.